Hi, I'm Dr. Zana Khan. I'm a GP in Homeless and Inclusion Health and Honorary Senior Lecturer here at UCL. This year is the first year that we've run the module in Homeless and Inclusion Health and we've had about 15 students from uh, across the university attending the course, including lots of clinicians, people with lived experience. So it's been a very exciting and innovative module. Hi, my name is Serena Luchensky. I'm a public health consultant and clinical research fellow at UCL, and I'm the module lead for the Homeless and Inclusion Health course. This course is really exciting. Um, it's the first of its nature in the UK and possibly in the world. It's the only course that's focusing on both the theory and the practice around homelessness and inclusion health. We have a focus both within a UK context, but also in an international context. We use multiple different learning methods to try to make this course really innovative and exciting and really involve students from all kinds of backgrounds. So we have guest lecturers who are experts in their field, both from um, an academic and theoretical perspective, but also expert clinicians and experts by experience who have experience of homelessness or social exclusion themselves. My name is Julia, um, I'm a psychiatrist, uh, which means I'm a medically trained doctor um, and I've been working in mental health for, since about the late 1990s, um, always in central London and for the last couple of years um, working for a team dedicated for working with people with mental health problems who are street homeless. Um, and I thought after a little while I initially started the course for um, CPD for continuing professional development because you don't see very much in this area it's not a topic that comes up very often um, and I thought oh this might hit the spot. My name is Alice and I'm on the MSc Population Health Programme um, so I decided to take the Homeless and Inclusion Health module because I really wanted to find out more about excluded populations um, what health problems that they may have and why um, they may they may be excluded from um, healthcare? Um, you know why they may find accessing healthcare quite difficult, and really what interventions that we can introduce to make sure that they are included. My name is Sam Marriage. I'm the expert by experience lead for Pathway. Uh, my background is lived experience, so it seemed fitting that I led the lived experience program. Um, and I decided I wanted to take the course because. I think I've done quite a lot of work during my time at Pathway, um, but none of it's been kind of structured learning. It's all been kind of pulling bits here, pulling bits there, and it was, I didn't go to school, I don't have any qualifications, and this was a good example to see if I could step what I've done up to an educational level. I'm a midwife, um, specialising in working with vulnerable families who need a bit of extra support, um, and my work covers migration and housing and social exclusion. Um, I also chair a clinical network around inclusion health which is the London network of nurses and midwives. So I wanted to learn about other areas of health that weren't specific to perhaps women's health and early years. constant thoughts of reflecting on what we're doing and having academic things, actually academic ideas, academic um, theories to actually hang, hang our day-to-day -day work on was really helpful to me. I really liked the fact that we got the chance to sort of break off in small groups and talk to people who had actually experienced homelessness. I think it gave a really unique perspective to the course. Just how easy it is for someone who haven't, hasn't got the educational background, is not structured, hasn't been through um, what would be a normal education process to be able to fit in and welcome. Working directly with people who are street homeless, uh, working with people who are sex working, um, sort of global perspectives and all of the quantitative and qualitative research stuff as well. Um, it's all been really practically focused. I will carry on reading in this area now much more than I ever had done. I've tended to be a bit scared of things that say public health on them as if they're somehow going to be very esoteric or very uh, detached from what I'm doing and if anything this course has linked the clinical the, the, and the frontline stuff with the, the theoretical really, really 
really quite beautifully at times. I think I'd like to go into sort of health policy um, and I think it's really important to have a perspective of excluded populations to make sure that um, health interventions can be targeted at everybody, um, especially people that may be hard to reach. It's opened up the idea of perhaps wanting to learn more, but certainly being able to take some of the things I have learned and put them into practice. I'm going to use the opportunities, the learning on the course and the assessments for the course to do a service evaluation that's relevant to my current work and a project that I'm trying to get off the ground. So I think that's a really direct application um, that's going to be quite useful and that's something that I just wouldn't have had the skills to do before. I would have had the idea to do it but I wouldn't have known how to do it. You'll take away from it a network of people that you didn't know existed um, and you'll take away I think the tools to start. It's a starting point so yeah it's a taster module I think it's perfect. 100% I recommend the course. Um, I thought it was really interesting. I really appreciated the use of external speakers. I thought the topics were all really interesting um, and I think I gained some really useful experience from the course. I'd say just do it. If you get the opportunity to come and do this, just do it. I've enjoyed it so much that I want to come back and do a bit more.